Hey YouTube, this is VargasXX78 with another really quick collection pickup video. Uh, I actually picked up a lot of random stuff, so I decided to share it with you guys. First off, uh, just a few video games. I picked up Mystery Quest for the NES. It's a game made by Taxon, and um, it's an okay game. It's you control this, it's kind of like a Mario ripoff. You control this little guy and uh, you have to go around shooting snakes and stuff. But, you know, it's it, it's it's decent. Picked up Sk Captain Skyhawk for the NES, made by, um, well, published by Milton Bradley, which is the board game company. I actually got this game because uh, in a other flea market a little while ago, I picked up the instruction manual so I had the instruction manual and I didn't have the game so I decided to pick it up and uh, the game is actually developed by Rare yet another Rare game for the NES and you control this fighter jet that has to go around shooting obstacles and, and avoiding mountains and stuff the graphics are actually pretty good on this one so I'm really glad I picked up this one and the next game is actually uh, one of my milestone games because it's the 200th game in my NES collection and that's Gradius. Uh, it's not in the best condition. I actually had to open this baby up and clean it inside because it, it was it was really really dirty inside. And uh, I don't know if you can know this, but you know the stickers kind of kind of faded uh, over there. And uh, I I actually had to clean it a lot. I still have to clean it some because when I pop it into the NES, it plays, but then. Uh, the graphics get all, all dirty and and weird things pop up. And on the shooter, that's very bad because, uh, you know, you don't know what's an obstacle, what's a bullet, and what's just, you know, a graphic glitch. So I still have to work on this one. But this one, uh, this one's important because, like I said, it's my 200th NES game. So really happy about that. And I picked up for the Super Nintendo, uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose. I already have the version that came out for the Nintendo, but this one obviously has better graphics and doesn't it really have an attack button. You have this kind of uh, drop kick attack where Buster kind of jumps and then he does a backflip and uh, backflip and hits the enemies. Uh, it's not very accurate actually. You, uh, uh, I popped this in and I started playing it, and I got killed a lot because of that. And it has uh, the fault that uh, even if you move a little bit over to the screen, the enemies respawn. So you know you have to you have to take care of that. But it's still a fun game, and it's a, a classic Konami game. So for the PlayStation One, I picked up Thunder Strike, uh, developed by the people that made Tomb Raider, Core, and Eidos. Uh, you control this this helicopter, and you have to go around shooting things. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Now with this lady I frequent, uh, she gets a lot of random stuff. I saw this one and I got really excited because I rarely see Wii things on on the swap beats I go to, but she had the uh, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party Two box thing. It was gonna come with uh, the game, the dance pad, and the controller. So I was really happy to see this, and I picked it right away. Uh, I took it to the lady and said, how much do you want for it? And she said, 200 pesos, which is under $20. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to take it. But I wanted to make sure it was complete, so we opened it up. And it only comes with the dance pad. It does not come with the game or the controller. So I was really, really disappointed on that. But the lady, the lady still was like, okay, um, give me 60 pesos for it, which is still under like $5. So... For the dance pad and the box, that, that I thought that was a really good price, so I picked it up anyway. Now all I have to do is pick up any of the um, Dance Dance Revolutions for the Wii. Or, uh, the, it actually, this actually plugs into the uh, GameCube ports. So I might track down um, Mario Party Mix. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a cool purchase nonetheless. And the last random thing I picked up, um, I really liked Lilo and Stitch. It's a Disney cartoon, and it's, I think it's one of the last really good 2D cartoons that Disney has come out with. So, I don't really 
like or I don't really collect stuffed animals at all. Um, but I saw this this guy at the market and he was like there. And you know, Christmas time is coming, so he has his little Christmas suit and everything. And I actually like the the Stitch character. Uh, the character, like I said, the movie is is really cool, and the character it's, himself is cool. So I thought that that was worth the purchase, and I got it for a really good price. And and he comes complete and everything. He still has his his tag and stuff. So you know, I'm not really into stuffed animals, but I decided, what the heck? It's he he looks okay. And it's kind of cool. So, yeah. Just like I said, a really, really quick collection pickup video. Just some random stuff I, I picked up today. And, you know, I decided it was worth making a video. Because I reached 200 NES games. So, that's big for me. I, I As a kid, I never thought I would, uh, you know, be able to have 200 NES games. And... Yeah, I I finally got 200 NES games, so I'm really happy about that. That's just something I wanted to share with you guys. But, well, uh, that's the this collection pickup video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and this is VargasXX78, signing off.